Right. Um. Good day, everyone. So, by the way, my name is June. So, welcome to Simple Troubleshooting Tutorial, guys. Now, for today's topic, guys. Um. You know, some some of the viewers or yeah, some of the viewers asked me, sir. Um. They they asked me, uh, sir, can you make a uh, some sort of tutorial on how to change Wi-Fi password and administ and the router, you know, something like that to avoid uh, hacking of their Wi-Fi password. Well, it's very simple, guys. Right. So again, um, there are many uh, types of ISP that we have here um, in the Philippines. We have uh, converge we have PLDT we have glow so let's just um, stick with the very basic uh, you know the, the common connections that we have here in the Philippines which is the PLDT and then and that that is currently um, our connection is so we're currently using PLDT fiber right so first of all guys um, yeah, any basic basic browsers that you need to that you can access the you know the configuration of the router. Okay, first of all, this is the things that you need to do. Um, make sure you are connected with your current router. All right, of course, that's very important, guys. It's it's maybe a wireless. It's okay. It's fine. It's maybe a um lap uh was a dedicated line or LAN, LAN cable that is totally fine and this time I'm going to show you on how to access the configuration of your router using PC right this time I'm using PC guys okay first of all guys you need to open a browser so any browser um, Firefox um, Chrome uh, Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer Edge, uh, something like that, it's fine. So since I'm using PLDT, guys, oh, what's this? So I'm, I'm using PLDT 192.1196, eh, 196, 192.168.1.1. So this is the default gateway of your internet connection. Okay, sir, what if I don't know my internet gateway? All right, so uh, let's 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 just skip this one first. All right, sir. So what if I don't know what is my default gateway? It's very simple, guys. All right, click on your start R. All right, so start start R. Here we go. It's a run prompt. Then you need to type CMD. Then enter. All right. So the command XC or CMD. Right, will show you or will give you the default gateway. It's very simple, guys. Just do IP, IP config. Alright, then enter. Then it will show you the default gateway. So, which means this is the default gateway of your router. Any router connections that you have there, as soon as you can try to access the CMD command and then you type IP config. Then you will get this uh, 192.168.1.1, alright? It's because router can be configured and we can change the default gateway of your internet connection, alright? So let's go into close this one. Now I know that the default gateway is 192.168.1.1. Let's go to our browser. Open browser. There you go. 192.168.1.1. Enter. Right, so some of the you know, there are some any errors like this. Your connection is not private. Attackers might yeah trying to steal your information from one another, for example, password. So you're just going to click this advance, then proceed to 192.168.1.1 and save. It's fine, guys. It's fine. Right. So this time you need to type your um, what's the username and what's the password of your router? So in my case, I have this. So admin as the username, and then the password. Uh, yeah, I have my own. I have my password. Okay, wait. There you go. All right. So you will see this configuration. All right. So now we are here in our 
um, router configuration guys our default gateway as you can see it here 192.168.1.1 um, yeah this is just a basic if you can if you don't understand the configuration guys don't touch anything to avoid disconnection of your internet if you don't know what you're doing don't touch anything guys as you can see in my case i have here the menus and yeah some sort of this one also but let's just focus our um, eyes in this side here. So how to change the password? It's very simple, guys. All right? One is the wide area network connection setting. So this is my IP. Local, uh, this is my one IP. If we talk about WLAN settings, this is the wireless local area network settings, which are um, the things or the devices that are connected within my router so okay there you go yeah i have here my laptop and another one is my cell phone so it is it's connected with a wireless screen lan i don't have lan settings i did not use any lan lan cables for this so that's why there is no uh, you know there is no uh, devices connected with this lan connection so let's check so let's 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 go to the let's go to the um get to the point on our discussion guys on how to change the wireless you know wireless connection uh, password to avoid hack of your neighbors or your friends or some sort of that so basic set setup you just go to the basic setup guys here um there are many types of names okay it depends maybe on what isp that you have there globe or plt but in my case plt but uh, majority of the configuration that we're going to do is the wireless LAN or wireless local area network connection. Here, as you can see, the basic configuration and the security settings. Of course, we're going to change the security settings of our wireless connection. So, as you can see, guys, there, there are 2.4 and 5G. Uh, I'll explain a little bit about 2.4, guys. This is the old Wi-Fi version, which means older cell phones can connect to this, all right? Older and new cell phones can connect this. However, if we go to the 5G, guys, 5G, um, older cell phones maybe um, later, uh, what is this? 2014 below models. Those are the those cell phones cannot connect on 5G, right? So as you can see, oh yeah, why is it that the 5G wireless is not appearing on my cell phone? Uh, it's because maybe your cell phone is old enough to uh, to detect the 5G internet connection, all right? Uh, it's a type of 5G connection. This one. So now since we're going to change the password guys okay let's just go to this 2.4g security settings going it's because we're going to change the password of our wireless connection so just click on that and as you can see here it's waiting i did not uh, do anything about this i just click the security settings 2.4g so let's just wait here you go so as is guys do not change the ssid here the choose ssid that's already one and yeah just leave it as default mix as as, as as you can see here none if you put none there is no authentication so no password if you select this one there will be no password of your wi-fi which means you are friendly <laughs> all right so let's choose the wpa psk wpa mix this one and then you change your password here all right this just leave it as default don't touch anything if you want to change the password just erase this one then put the password that you like then apply right so after applying um res restart your router then you have a brand new password on your wireless or wi-fi guys so that's that's a very simple way on how to change your wireless or wi-fi connection all right let's go to the admin guys i admin parental control so from this here wait, uh, i changed the password here ah yeah i already changed the password um the moment that we that, that the moment that the pldt installed our is our internet connection i already changed the password uh, the administrator password of this 
uh, router or the default gateway. So that's that's the very simple or the easiest way to change the wireless password. All right, additional guys, I'll give you the additional one. Um, don't mind about the status. It's just gonna give you some status of your okay. Basic configuration status is just gonna give you some sort of information of uh, the, the devices that are connected to your router, like that. So how many devices connected? What are those devices? Okay, so as you can see here, SSID, this is the SSID guys, and I choose SSID 1, just leave that one as default. Now in my case guys, to avoid hacking, I usually hide my SSID, and I'm, I try to memorize what will be my SSID here, alright? So later I'm going to show you how to connect with your cell phone using the hide SSID. So if you're going to uncheck this one, which means... Um, if this one is unchecked, right, your your wireless name or Wi-Fi name will be available to public, which means if he or she is not connected with your Wi-Fi and whoever scans uh, near on your area, try to scan some wireless, it will show CAS 24G. However, if you're going to hide this one, so which means if somebody will try to scan near Wi-Fi in your you know, it's, for example, outside, this cannot be seen, right? So all you have to do is you need to hide this one to avoid hack from your friends or your neighbors. It depends on you guys, it's up to you, right? So SSID here, so we have this one. You can change this one anytime you like, as, as long as uh, you can memorize this, the SSID, that's not a problem, all right? So, okay, then apply. So once you change the SSID, guys, it is automatically you will be um, disconnected from the router. All right. So we're done with that, guys. To change how to change the name, um, let's go back. I'm going to recap basic settings, wireless LAN, uh, basic configuration 2.4 gigahertz. So let's just wait for that. All right. I'm I'm going to show you on my cell phone here and how to connect. All right, so wait, it's not yet responding. Oh, this, oh, wait. Here, that's the how you change your SSID or the name of your Wi-Fi. Next is the password, security settings. You go to the security settings. That's very simple. Alright, so this is the security settings. You're going to change this one. Then that will be the password of your wireless. Then apply. So again, don't forget to hide your wireless connection and make sure you know what is your wireless connection. Alright, at this point guys, I'm going to show you on how to connect your cell phone with a hide SSID of your router. So let's start. I'm going to show you. I'm going to minimize. Um... So I'm, I'm done with my settings, I'm done with my configuration, it's done. So I'm going to hide this first. So this is how to connect. Um, your, okay, this time um, let's try to connect using your hidden or hide SSID Wi-Fi. So this is how to connect guys. Click settings on that. So then go to Wi-Fi, click that Wi-Fi. Then as you can see it here, add manual network. You click that net manual network, right? So it's 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 used to hide. So but you can see it here, a name, security, and password. So obviously you need to know what is, uh, what is the. What is the SSID? So in my case that was cast. 25G, it's here. This one. Right? So you need to type the name of that and then uh, security type, it should be the last security that you need you need to select WPA, WPA2 or PSK. You need to select that one. Then the password, the password that you put on your 2.4G. Right? Wait, I goes I got 
Alright, let's do it again. Right, so let's do it again. Wireless, so it's here. So the password the that's the that's the, the that's the the name of your Wi-Fi. Then the password is the one that you inputted on your router the one that you assign it's up to you what will be your password guys so so what will be the password then after that once you are done click join and then you're connected with your internet connection right so if you have questions guys so just comment down below your um your questions or suggestions about my video all right so once again thank you for tuning in on our uh new uh simple troubleshooting tutorial about on how to change the name wireless wi-fi connection and how to hide uh how to change the name of your wi-fi how to hide and how to change the password so see you along guys and goodbye